everybody. Welcome back to Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. Um, didn't see you that long ago. Did an evening shave last night and wasn't going to do a shave today, but you know what? There was just enough whiskers to maybe do a two-pass shave today. We'll see. Maybe even a one-pass. Uh, today, our soap of the day is going to be CBL soaps with a lid that should have stayed on, but it didn't because I'm an idiot. CBL Soaps Barba in the nice wooden bowl, or bamboo bowl, I should say. Our brush today is one of my older silver tip brushes. It's an HL fader um, that the logo has finally completely worn off. No need to talk about how good CBL soaps are. We all know it. Just wonderful. The Barba is their non-tallow. This one is the non-tallow version, the Fusion Base. And uh, it's a wonderful barbershop scent. This soap will take on a ton of water. Be another straight shave today with a razor that I have not used in a long time, and it is a beast of a razor. It is a Camisori, a Western Camisori, um, and it was made by a good buddy of mine and fellow Arizonan. Here's the reveal. The Jerry Stark 6 8 Camisori in twisted metal. Um, this was the last razor uh, he made for me before he sunsetted his business in the razor making. And I had had it wrapped for a while, and it just didn't feel right. And he actually gifted this razor to me, so it uh, means a lot. It is a uh, almost a full wedge, just a tad under a full wedge. And as is typical with this type of camisori, uh, it requires some interesting hand holding. If you notice, I've got it with three fingers. I've got a thumb notch there, thank God, or it would slip out of my hand. And then this stabilizes it. It's a great razor. It's very quiet. Uh, obviously from the almost full wedge that it is, but just a fun razor. This gives the, the term monkey tail uh, a little bit of an interesting thing because it is a long razor. as are most of the Jerry Stark razors that I have. It, um, it is so quiet that it doesn't give you a lot of audio feedback, especially today, because I don't have a lot of whiskers to deal with. But um, it can be pretty intimidating. is the razor is extremely sharp. And as is typical with most wedges, it's a little tough underneath the nose. But with wedge type razors, you just want to let it fall down the face. You don't want to force it. Um, a light touch is necessary, but also at the same time, you have to guide it because it's heavy. I mean, it's a heavy razor. 
Well, pass number one. Ah, what the heck, I'll do two passes today. Maybe even three, just for the heck of it. Why not irritate the face? Uh, before we go any further, right up here, look. Nurse Dave, Major Rich, learn how to straight shave. All those links will be right up here. And if you like what you see, subscribe. There's a barber pole cowboy hat. Click on that. And then if you want to get notified, just click on the bell. And you know what? Why not? Come and join us, will you? www.theshavingcadre.com We are going into our final days of the registration for the TSC convention in Las Vegas. Our meetup, got a great bunch of people going. Um, so if you're interested, please join the Shaving Cadre and you can register right there for the event. And uh, we have uh, hotel rooms at our host hotel. I think there's a few still available. Uh, so make sure that you sign up if you'd like. And if not, you can join us for TSC Con 2. Got a lot of neat things planned for that as well. And if everything goes according to plan, that one may be on the high seas. We'll have to see. But this is our inaugural event. This is the first one. So this is the one you want to kind of be at as well. Our bingo game on the TSC is still progressing. Some people are closer than others. And Stephen Haysai, one of our members and our resident bingo wizard for this game, is doing a fine job in his calling. Very easy to find the calls, which is nice because that way it's not stressful. This is the fun pass. Because it's basically like holding a hatchet to your face. All right, let's see if we want to do a third pass. No, I think we're good. I think I'll do just a little bit of cleanup. And then we'll call it good. One thing with this razor is you definitely want to keep your hands dry, or at least as dry as possible. But it's very easy to do buffing with this one. I've never flat bladed with this one. And I'm not going to try now. Well, what the heck? It was pointed out to me today that when I did my bourbon and cigar shave, that I didn't bring the whiskey into the bathroom with me. So I may have to do that next time I do a, an evening shave. Okay, I think we're going to call that one good. Let's 
So the razor, I'm going to put it away in its little sheath that I have for it. A Jerry Stark 7 8 Camisori Near Wedge. Uh, just a fun, fun razor. So rarely do I do a two pass and clean up, but like I said, I shaved at midnight last night, so why not? Uh, Paraso alum, as always. Kind of seal everything up and give that wonderful salty flavor for the upcoming meal. This will be my last uh, video shave for the week. Hope you guys enjoyed your three-day binge watching session. Yeah, right. For the aftershave today, oh, I forgot the most important part. There's lavender. You know, while that's drying down, we'll go over the rest of the shave real quick. Already told you about the razor. The brush is the little mini mighty mite, as I call it. And that's the HL Thater. I'm not sure which one it is anymore. Um, but it's a nice little ray, a nice little kind of compact. I use this as my travel brush um, with a nice silver tip knot on it. For the aftershave today, we'll be using CBL Barba. Very good aftershave. Very nourishing. Good for the skin. All that kind of happy stuff. And according to C. Vargo, I look pretty good for 150 years old, don't I? I'm having a birthday real soon, like tomorrow. And... Uh, I think I look pretty good for 173 years old. I mean, neck's not sagging. I've lost some weight. Um, I'll let you guys guess how old I am. Put it in the comments or how old I'm going to be. And if you know, don't cheat. But that's the beauty of using CBL products. You can be 180 years old and look like this. Isn't that awesome? Just kidding. For our talc today, we are going to use our amalgamation. This is uh, in an old, speaking of, CBL gave this to me. And uh, it had men and shave talc in it. That was long since gone. But this has now got Panade and Parasso and English Fern and Yardley and who knows what else. Could have pool table chalk dust in it. I don't know. But there is real talc in here somewhere. But, he smell good. And then for the EDT today, we are going to use unobtainium. And it's getting low. And that's YSL Rive Gauche Pour Homme. The absolute best barbershop scent on the planet. It's supposed to smell like Barbasol. That's why it looks like it's in a Barbasol can. Just wonderful stuff. I know there's one other person on the forum that loves this stuff as much as I do. And that's our friend and yours, the California minister, Girnor. So anyhow, Reeve Gosh Borame. Okay, folks, that's it. Quick Tuesday shave, two passes. I'd say DSBBS. I'm Barbara Dave. Thanks for joining us at Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. Make sure, once again, you come join us at The Shaving Cadre, www.theshavingcadre.com. Great bunch of guys, great bunch of folks, great bunch of ladies as well. And uh, come check us out. I think you'll like it. Take care, and we'll see you next week.